Hi, my name is Daniel Petrolak, and I'm the Section Chief of Genital Urinary Oncology at the Yale University Cancer Center. Advanced prostate cancer has undergone a revolution over the last couple of years, with a variety of different agents being approved for the treatment of castration-resistant disease. So many patients ask how do they uh, 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 stratify these particular treatments and how do they select treatments in a given situation. When a patient comes into my office, if they have a rising PSA, we first check their testosterone to be sure it is below 50. If it is below 50 then, and they have PSA progression, then we go forth and do a CAT scan and a bone scan to see their, where their disease is. We also assess whether they have bone pain. If they have minimal bone pain and the disease is limited to the bone and not in the viscera, such as the liver or the lung, we then recommend that they go forth with immune therapy with ProVeg. If they have more aggressive disease, in other words, if they have pain, if they have spread to the liver, then we recommend either chemotherapy with docetaxel, abiraterone, which is a new hormonal agent that completely depletes testosterone, or investigational treatment. The question, of course, is after ProVeg, when do you start other treatments? And we, we follow our patients carefully because PSA in that situation may not be the best indicator to use to determine when a patient should go on their next treatment. Uh, treatment. There are other new exciting agents that have either been just approved or about to be approved. MDV 3100 is a selective anti-androgen that basically will cause prostate cancer cell death and is approved for patients who fail chemotherapy. RAD223 is a novel radiopharmaceutical that shows an improvement in survival compared to placebo in patients who either have refused to take docetaxel chemotherapy or patients who have failed docetaxel chemotherapy. The real excitement now comes from combining these agents with very, very different mechanisms of action and hopefully we can even further improve survival for castration-resistant disease.